You there? Who? Hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them, neither. And fighting? Well, if it's just me against them, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stop just there. Now. Them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> Hell, great. Well, you stand over there and uh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Uh, I ain't sure. How about this then? Any other ideas? Well, I could do this. Okay, I got it. 
Then I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yep. Good luck. <laughs> Hello there. That was absolutely delicious, my dear. Thank you. Well, I think a toast is in order, don't you? Here, let's fill that water glass, Tarkin. It's unlucky to cheers on an empty glass. Okay. To the Trelawneys. It's good to be home. The Trelawneys! Are you staying now, Daddy? I wish I could, my boy. I really do. But business calls. Oh, I almost forgot. I don't suppose anybody here would be interested in, say, uh... Hey there, kitty. Me? Me? Okay. This is for you. Wow! Thanks! And this one's for you, Cornelius. I got that in a town called Blackwater. And last but not least, for you, my dear. Aw, thank you. Now run along and play, boys. Let your mother and I read the newspapers. Trelawney, is that you in there? Uh, <clears throat> Arthur? What on earth are you doing here? Uh, I can't speak now. Sorry. Can we catch up in the office on Monday? Let's adjourn to the parlor, my dear. Not a moment's peace. Come on, Bertram, please! Morning, mister. No! Bertram, say no! Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends for life, we said. And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Why, well, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. I fed you. Bertram does like Miss Marjorie. Yes, and Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. So why don't you go and tell me where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to so I can get on with whipping that snot nose right into shape? He owes me. He owes us. Big time. Bertram and Marjorie. Wouldn't Bertram like a sherry? Bertram. Like Sherry. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Barkeep, Sherry. Make it the cheapest one you have. Rat piss will do. His pretty dance. Everything okay? Imagine saving people, Girl. taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well, uh... Treachery! And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little uh, tiny magician I... has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Uh... Oh, fuck it, he... Uh... No! Bertram! 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 Woof, woof! Bertram! Put the nice man! Do something, you only eat him! Um, uh, e e e easy there. Uh, easy there! Sorry! Bertram! Easy, big guy. Bad, Bertram! What are you easy, boy! Slug him! Bertram! <laughs> Let's go! You're weak! Not He's nice. strong, all right. Mister, I thought you was gonna deal with this. You're in a lot of trouble, young Let's man. Let's make this quick. I'm a busy man. 
Keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry. We'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promised. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. Hi, darling. Morning. Whoa, <laughs> that's amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, ah! who? Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch! She's a witch! Who? Presta! Well, Marjorie. she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus! <sighs> ah! Stay away from me! Hey! Partner, come back here! Wants to speak to you. Hey, will you talk? I'm going it alone. Damn. You're starting to irritate. What the hell are you pulling here? You're here. I'm gonna find you. <coughs> oh, yeah, very clever. It's steak dinner. Where is he gonna go? <coughs> Damn it. <coughs> now where are you gone? Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Over here, dummy. Why well, you led me on a merry old dance? Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there. 
Damn it. So long, dummy. Where are you? the Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stump of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you uh, are going to be pulling uh, rabbits out of your uh, ass until you are as uh, old as you are tiny. Uh, Put them up there. Ah, uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to Mama. Oh, I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together. Back together. Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye-bye. What I done to deserve you too? Thank you so much for watching. It really does mean more than you can imagine. Remember to like and subscribe if you liked what you saw and want to see more.